In this PowerPoint tutorial, we look at creating PowerPoint graphs in PowerPoint 2007. The first thing that we need to do is once again use the ribbon functionality to try and insert our basic chart. Using the Insert tab, we can come up with the Insert ribbon, and using the Illustrations portion of this, choose the Insert Chart command. Here, we get a range of different options available to us, column, line, pie and bar, perhaps being the most common elements that you'll use, but other things such as scatter, donut, bubble and radar may also be very useful. For now, let's stick with a basic clustered column chart, and so by choosing OK, PowerPoint automatically populates a PowerPoint graph for me in that format. PowerPoint 2007, unlike PowerPoint 2003, uses Excel 2007 as data entry. Data entry in Excel is very similar to PowerPoint 2003, or indeed very similar to creating charts for Excel users. Excel contains all of the different data sets that I want, as well as the labels for the categories and the series for my data set. If, for example, with this clustered column chart, I wanted to show revenues of products over time, I would perhaps use my categories as my years. A simply a question of typing in Excel the different years that I want to deal with, so 2005 up to 2008. And then in terms of the series I have, it's simply a question of adding in my products. So in this case, product A, product B, and product C. With my labels sorted out, and the different data sets that I want to include, it's now a question of actually inputting the data. Again, very simply, it's a question of changing the data in each of the cells in my Excel spreadsheet. Product A, for example, may have started off quite poorly in 2005 and 2006, but grown rapidly over the last couple of years. Product B may have started in a strong position, but shrunk significantly in the same time period. Product C may well have been flat in terms of revenue, but it's a steady system for us. This element is now fine and it's created, as you've seen on the left hand side, a PowerPoint chart to match the data that I've inputted. However, if I want to create a chart that contains, for example, more products, or indeed projects revenue into 2009, I can do this by extending the area that my PowerPoint chart is taking from the data set. The blue line around my data set in Excel indicates what data will be used in my PowerPoint chart. By using the bottom right hand element, I can either click, drag extra columns or click and drag down extra series, thereby giving me the option to add in, for example, product D or projected revenues for 2009. Then, simply again, a question of adding in my different data sets. So, product D, for example, may well not have existed in 2005 and 2006, but has come on very strongly in the last couple of years. My projected revenue for 2009 may well be, again, good growth for product A, bottoming out of the market for, for product B, and again, steady revenue from product C, with product D showing, again, rapid growth. And as I'm adding in these new figures, once again, my PowerPoint chart in PowerPoint is updating to suit. Once I'm happy with the data set that I've put in, it's a question of closing down Excel, bringing PowerPoint back up to full screen automatically. And I've now got my PowerPoint chart with which to demonstrate my figures. There are a couple more things that I need to do before my chart is complete. The first of which is about laying my slide out correctly so that my audience can more easily assimilate the slide that I'm putting up in front of them. In this instance, it's really about trying to maximize the size of the chart on the slide. And so by using the area around my chart, I can either click on that border, hold and drag it so that I'm moving my slide um, I'm moving my chart about my slide, or using one of the little movement icons and resizing icons around the outside of my chart to again click, hold and drag so that I'm getting something that more appropriately fills my slide. I also need to add in various data labels. To do this I need to once again go back to my ribbon and choose the layout function. Here, I have a number of different commands in the labels group, including chart title, which I won't add in here because I automatically have a title built into my PowerPoint template, but I may well want to label my axes. 
By choosing axis titles, I can either add a primary horizontal axis or a primary vertical axis. And in this instance, I will choose a horizontal title for my primary vertical axis. A horizontal title because my audience can more, assimilate, more easily assimilate horizontal text. Now it's simply a question of clicking into my axis title, selecting the text and replacing it with, in this instance, in this instance revenue, which may well be in millions of dollars. That's now given me a certain layout for my slide. Including my axis titles, and it's simply then a question of adding in the relevant areas in terms of PowerPoint templates and titles. In this instance, it might be product revenue from 2005 to 2009. Finally, giving me the slide that I want.